We are living in an era where we have allowed ourselves to be convinced that to acquire and maintain a high level of pain-free good health is so complicated and confusing. It's a complex issue and we have to listen to an army of experts and take an ocean of products. It's not like that. It's more straightforward. Let me see if I can simplify it for you just a bit. Each one of us in our lifetime is going to eat approximately 70 tons of food. Yeah, you heard me right, 70 tons. The digestion of food requires more energy from the body than all other activities of the body combined. That's why we feel so tired after we eat and the bigger the meal, the more tired we are. You know what I'm talking about. Think about it. Practically every organ of the body is involved in one way or another in dealing with that 70 tons, either in digestion or the extraction and assimilation of nutrients or the elimination of waste. Now, few people know this. But nearly every malady of the body, from a simple cold to a stomach ache, all the way to cancer, can all be traced back to the digestive tract and how efficiently it was working. On the other hand, if you wish to achieve something with your body, you want more energy or less pain, or you want to lose weight or overcome some illness, or you want to prevent getting sick in the first place, again, it all has to do with the digestive tract and how efficiently it's working. Now, I have been studying this material for over 40 years. In the last 25 years, I've written eight books. The most recent is called Living Without Pain. It's like an overview of everything I've learned over the years. I like to think of it as the body's operator's manual. Now, you wouldn't dream of climbing into the cockpit of an aircraft and flying it over a mountain if you've never taken a flying lesson. And yet, something we do every single day of our lives is eat to the tune of 70 tons in a lifetime and few people have any idea whatsoever what happens to food once they swallow. The fact is, there is a way of eating that streamlines the digestive process so you use less energy, and there's a way of eating that burdens the digestive tract so you use more energy. Now, which do you think would benefit you most? Living without pain makes this distinction for you and shows you how to take control of your digestive tract so that you can use less energy. And I'm not asking you to read a book that is some dry technical textbook that you have to wade through because I don't write like that. I write easily, easy to read, and it's conversational. Plus, you will be introduced to something that I feel, in my opinion, is the most important advancement made in this arena, in my lifetime anyway, digestive enzymes. All foods contain digestive enzymes naturally occurring. The thing is, most of the food we eat is cooked, and the heat necessary to cook that food destroys the enzymes. I don't mean that they're weakened, they're destroyed. Supplemental enzymes, digestive enzymes, what they do is streamline the digestive process and cause the digestive tract to work more efficiently on less energy. That's a combination that can't be beat if living a long time healthfully is one of your goals. Now, some of you might be saying right now, hey, you're just trying to convince me to get another book. Well, yeah, I want you to take control over your health and learning about your digestive system is part of that. So yes, I want you to learn about your digestion. I want you to learn about digestive enzymes so you won't have to listen to an army of experts who may have you convinced you can't do it without them. Because I'm telling you, you can, and I want you to, and you'll be glad you did.